Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to start a new campaign in Symphony of War The Nephilim Saga on version 1.01.1. So this is the version that was released in July of 2022. And the current hardest difficulty will be Warlord with Permadeath on. And I'll disable the tutorials. So let's begin. Uh, the developers said they will be working on a lunatic difficulty, so I probably will do another let's play then. But in any case, for my early uh, selections, I'm going to try to select options that will allow me to have maybe as many, as much leadership as possible. Right? So things like you know bringing people together, you know. and. Uh, the form that I'll choose is going to be female this time around because I did my first campaign as male. Eh, let's just keep the default name this time, Lindley. And let's begin. So, brand new campaign. Let's see how things start off. Let's just skip the cutscenes. As many of them, that's two cutscenes so far skipped. Escape, skip the third, and one more, skip the fourth. Oh no, maybe there's more? Five! There we go. Alright, so then we're in chapter one, Rebellion. So, mm -hmm. so Lindley and Zelos. Left. So let's start with Lindley. Attacking. And killing. And my goal is to try to get her, if possible, as much CP so that I can level up her squad. So we'll see how that goes. Let's wait and then turn. Two enemies killed. So current CP on these units is 84. Okay, so let's move in and seize this. All right, Imperial Army has arrived, blah, blah, blah. And reinforcements come from the right, Sybil and Jules. So I'm kind of curious, does CP increase with captures? No, CP is stuck at 84 on everyone. So only from combat do you get more CP. Now I don't want to actually get into combat with these enemies, so I'll just place Zelos right there and have these two attack. So the mission is you have to attack from a hill using Jules' squad and seize all mission objectives. So I'm going to have this hill attack from here and grab that achievement right away. Alright, and let's have Sybil finish off this enemy. So Sybil actually has a bunch of tier 2 units, while everyone else has tier 1s. So, interestingly enough. Alright, let's end turn, continue. Enemies approach. Okay. For my people. And For my I can move in and attack right away. So let's have my main character do that. So as I said, the goal is to feed her all the experience if I can. So there's that enemy destroyed. And it's now at 148. So far so good. So let's have this one. Range attack and weaken this. And I'm going to have Sybil move in and fight. So let's have Sybil do this. Boom. Crushed. Perfect. So Noel is fully healthy right now. But why don't I just... Swap positions. Right, just shuffle them forward a little and then turn and see what happens. 
So it's going to attack Lindley. But the characters don't die. Perfect. So what's next is I'm going to seize this iron mine with jewels. Because whoever seizes these locations will get leadership increases. So it's either feed it into Lindley or feed it into jewels. I think all things considered, I'll field I'll feed into jewels. So he'll capture that. Sure. The soldiers on Lindley are heavily damaged, so why don't I just move over here with Sybil first, and I'll have a conversation. Blah blah blah. And I'm going to use her heal spell to heal up those soldiers. And that way, Lindley can strike and get some more experience. For my people. So For now my that 233. Okay, CP. My and let's just have Zelos just shuffle jewels. My goal is to get jewels over to capture this next. So meanwhile the battle lies before me. Let's have Lindley attack. So she'll move in. Strike, strike, down the enemy goes. Let's Here comes Sybil, ready or not. shuffle them and swap positions. Stay strong, everyone. And actually, if I move, then leave Jules over here first to have a conversation. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, whatever. I don't care. And then let's just have Zelos first. Kind of shuffle Jules forward bit by bit. Make it easier for Jules to reach that location. And we're good. So reinforcements for the enemy will approach now. There they go. And I'm going to leave Lindley here. So let's have Jules seize this location. Because again, I want to feed Lindley all the experience I can. That's the whole idea. So let's have Lindley heal up his front soldier. Why don't I have Zelos move over and we'll just end turn here. So the enemies will approach and attack me while I'm standing on the fortress so that I don't take as much damage. I don't actually kill anyone in that fight. That's fine. So, I do have to clear this within 11 turns. So that's the one thing I need to keep in mind. So why don't I start... I have to kill off those two frontliners. So let's start with Lindley. Striking now. We'll leave with that. I can get them rid of both of them. There we go. For my people. Right. For my and home. So 460 one XP or so now. They're nearly leveled. Time to end. Perfect. So then if Sybil moves in and strikes, she should be able to crush this squad quite easily. Or not. How can I help, my lord? So the characters will move up. So yeah. And we'll wait. So range attack trading. Enemy attacking Sybil. And then I can move in and engage. So Sure. Let's have Sybil finish off the squad. There we go. I must stay strong. We will always find a way. Nitro can but charge I'm in and attack. There we go. 
So now these characters are all maxed out. Okay. So they're leveling up. Stay strong, Jewels everyone. can quickly finish off this target. Actually, I'm just making. I want Jewels to capture. So he has to still capture that. So let's place him here. Let me finish off this target. And why don't I for now just swap positions like this and turn? Because hopefully it will shoot nimbly, yes. And now I want to get jewels into this location. So let's look at the type. There's this is turn nine. So first let's uh, Here comes let's the shuffle up or not. number one for my people for my homeland shuffle number two we will always find a way Here goes shuffle the... oh crap that's not good Your command. Stay and strong, then everyone. seize that Zelos will kill off this squad I think that's okay though. Or not. Alright, and it is now turn 10. I still have Time to win. I have until next turn. So I can have Jules move back. Let's have let's see. Who should I feed the experience to? I'm just getting started. Probably Sybil? Yeah. Because Lindley already maxed out, so Sybil should take the remaining experience. There we go. And then Jules will do the final capture. We will always like so. And I see leadership. Some leadership increase goes on to your main character, Lindley, as well. There we go. Mission number one complete. Pretty smooth. And I'm going to save these fights. Probably near the bottom here. Okay. So. I have a few support conversations to do with that can give me some experience. I'm just going to skip the cutscenes, having seen them before in the past. Um, it's more for me to get those stars. Because right? every star you get can help you level up your technologies and so on. So other than that, I do have two techs that I can pick up, two tech points. And the tech points I'll pick up is probably going to be the standing army tech as well as merchant invoice or apprentice training. Right. So let's just see what recruits I have first before I make that decision. A mercenary healer. Nothing all that good. How about trader? A sergeant's uniform and uniform. Oh my god, this is a this is a like one of the best starts you can get. I'm just gonna pick up both. And I might as well pick up the gem. So, that was amazing. Uh, all things considered, I think in terms of text, I'll pick up the Merchant Envoy. Right. Don't particularly need the Apprentice yet. I'll pick that up next level. So let's see what goodies I can get. Okay, this is too expensive and it's not that good. But who did I get for the last character? Overpower, which is kind of garbage. Well, nonetheless, it was worth the gamble. I'll pick that person up. Not that interested in the mercenary. Okay. So I'll look at other recruits. Okay. So there's nobody with high... Oh, actually, this character has 47 leadership. For that reason, I will recruit it. Just because it has 47 leadership, which is higher than everyone else here. So that it can lead its own squad. And other than that, I'm going to have to think about what kind of recruits I want. 
For example, I might as well pick one up. Pick up some of these as frontliners. A dark character. Dark affinity increases attack and magic but loses hit points, which is not good for a class that you want as tanks. Okay. And I'll think about the rest for now. So I'll cover what I did with my army organization after this, once I formed up the armies, but for sure I'm going to form a few new squads. Okay. Oh, I, ah, you can only form squads with tier two units. So, okay, let's see. Let's change their classes then, right? Upgrade them, probably to soldier class. And then go from there. Or actually for, to Spearman, because it's tankier. Less attack, but tankier. And same thing for here. Right, the goal is to make them into Sentinels. And then the... So all three have pretty darn low leadership. So let's just change this character class up into a Priestess. And then I can form a new squad with this priestess, right? And I will also have to recruit the last one simply to make another squad. Even if I don't use it, right, it gives me some versatility for the next map. Because you can bring up to six squads for the next battle. Alright, and other than that, I'm going to readjust the squadrons, figure out how, what to do with them, and then I'll talk about that in the next video. That is it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.